Let's travel back to 100 years ago. How different was the world compared to today? Think about your morning coffee or catching up with your friends and family. Innovations are what made us jump from where we were 100 years ago to where we are today. Innovations are product, processes, and methods that are either introduced to the market or put into use. Innovations matter. The research has shown that innovations are positively linked to economic growth, quality of life, standards of living, and well-being. By policymakers, innovations have been recognized as the lever they can use to increase productivity. Productivity is a concept that links outputs to inputs used to produce those outputs. Even the world's most advanced economies can suffer from stagnating productivity. My research looks at the links between innovation, productivity, and exporting at the level of firms. As you can see from the bottom right corner of my slide, the research already exists in this area. For example, the research shows us that innovative firms are more likely to export and that exporting firms are more likely to innovate. However, the research is inconclusive and suffers, suffers from the chicken and the egg problem. The research shows us that these links exist, but we don't know much about their nature, direction, and timings. My research is there to fill this gap. The second part of my research looks at the innovation policies, which are levers that policymakers are using to increase innovation. In particular, I'm interested in research and development tax credits, which are tax reliefs for firms that conduct research and development activities. As you can see from the bottom left corner of my slide, large sums of money are spent on this policy. For example, only in the United Kingdom in a single year, 4.3 billion pounds was spent on this policy. My aim here is to look at the impact of research and development tax credits, not only on innovation, but also on firm level exporting and productivity. If we understand the world, we can work and make it better. If we understand the complexities of these links and whether our policies are effective, then we can make our firms perform better, our economy stronger, and hopefully our future brighter.